Today we will teach you to crochet a chicken pendant. All as an ornament, it looks great on the table. Now to give you an overview of the tools that will probably be used. First, you need scissors. A 三点零 crochet hook tweezers are for stuffing cotton. You can use other tools if you don't need them. Then there is a locator pin. If you do not have it, you can use other items to locate it. Next up are suture needles, mainly for sewing up arms, eyes, and the like. This is the locator clasp. Here's the glue you will need to use and the toy eyes. The following need to fill cotton is necessary. Next, the cotton threads we need to prepare are yellow with red and a small amount of orange. Now we begin to knit. For the main part, we need to wrap the cotton thread around our fingers like I did and we crochet in the loop. We need 6 single crochet hooks inside this ring. You can watch my crochet technique carefully. Then we'll repeat this operation one repeat six times. When we're done, we tighten the coils. Let's do our first slip stitch. Pass a crochet hook through both loops. Place the thread on the crochet hook. Crochet hook around the thread to hook out. Doing a slip stitch. Then hook a chain. That completes the first lap. Now outside, we'll start the second loop. For the second lap, it's 6 INS. 6 INS, that's two single crochet hooks on each single crochet. We'll start with the first stitch. The first stitch needs to be inserted into the coil we struck earlier. The crochet hook is still in the same position as the slip stitch. Insert the crochet stitches in and make the first single crochet. Then insert the crochet again in the same place for the second single crochet. Once this is done, we move on to crochet the next loop, repeating the previous steps. Now let's keep repeating the crochet rounds. This round we still find the position of the first stitch and perform a slip stitch. Crochet a chain after the slip stitch. This completes the second lap after which we begin the third. 
For the third loop, watch my demonstration carefully and repeat the knitting. Then to the next coil. When we are done, we start the next group and just keep repeating it. That's one set, then move on to the next set and finish the circle. After this loop is complete, we are still doing the slip stitch on the first stitch. Make a chain after hooking out the twisted cotton threads. Once the third loop is complete, we will start crocheting the fourth. For the fourth lap, it's two single crochets and an increase. 2 single crochet and 1 increase in the loop. You can watch my demonstration carefully. A single crochet and then a single crochet. Then to the next loop crochet a single crochet increase. In repeated knitting. Repeat the circle in this manner. After the fourth lap, let's go through the same steps as before. Find the location of the first stitch and insert the crochet hook into it. Wrap the cotton thread around the crochet hook and pull it out. Then crochet a chain. When we are done, we will start crocheting the fifth loop. For the fifth loop, we are three single crochet plus one increase as a repeat and then crochet the whole round, 6 groups in total. Let's have a look at the demonstration. 1 single crochet, 2 single crochet, 3 single crochet. Finish crocheting it like I did. Then repeat to finish the crochet round. Everyone is watching carefully while single crochet, single crochet, one more single crochet, then single crochet to increase the. And that's how you finish crocheting this round. After we finish the fifth lap, same first slip stitch. Pull the cotton thread over, then wrap the cotton thread to make a chain. Now we'll start crocheting the sixth loop. Then we have a repeat crochet technique all the way through the 6th and 9th rounds. For our 6th and 9th loops, we will need to crochet 30 single crochets. You can check yourself on this round to see if you got enough stitches. If there's enough for 30 single crochets. We'll just keep repeating the crochet until we get to the 9th loop. Laps 6 through 9 are just 30 single crochet. Complete the first 6 to 9 laps on your own. The next step is the same. Then we'll start the 10th loop of crochet. Then crochet into the chick's face. Watch carefully how I crochet here. We'll start by crocheting 7 single crochets. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 
Once the seven single crochets are complete, we still need two crochet seven increase. Increase is two crochet two single crochets in each stitch. After 7 increases, we crochet a decrease. You can take a closer look at the decrease crochet technique. That's a decrease. Let's go ahead and show you how it's done. This is decrease. When we are done crocheting, we will continue on. Repeat for 7 sets of increase. After our 7 increases, keep crocheting 7 single crochets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then slip stitch at the first stitch. Then make a chain. This brings us to the 10th loop. Let's start crocheting the 11th loop. This loop still has the same weave as before, so watch it carefully. We'll start by crocheting 5 single crochets. After the 5 single crochets are done, we'll crocheting a decrease. Finally, we are crocheting 29 single crochet. After completing 29 single crochets, we are crocheting a decrease. Pay attention to my demo. 
When we're done, we'll crochet five single crochets. After completion, we we'll do a slip stitch on the first stitch, then crochet a chain. The 12th to 14th rounds are all crocheted in the same way. 41 single crochets in all. You can continue on your own. Okay, after the 14th loop, we will start the 15th loop. Let's remember, slip stitch every lap and then chain. Now we'll start crocheting the 15th round. Let's start by crocheting a single crochet. There are 5 single crochets to be crocheted. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. After completion, crochet 7 decrease in the back. Please watch carefully how I crochet. Hook it out here after you've wrapped it around. If you don't know how to crochet, you can watch my demo carefully. Well, 7 single crochet we still need to crochet an M stitch in. M stitch means 3 single crochet stitches combined into one. Let's see exactly how to crochet. We now have a total of 4 loops on our crochet hook. Then we hook these 4 coils of cotton thread in one go. This is how the M stitch is hooked. After we are done crocheting, we continue to crochet 7 degrees. Seven. Okay. After seven single crochets, we end the round by crocheting five single crochets. Three, four, five. Then slip stitch with the first stitch. Then crochet a chain. Then we'll start crocheting the sixteenth round. In this circle, it's a group of three single crochets and a decrease. Repeat the circle. One, two, three, then crochet a decrease. We need to repeat the previous operation five times. Finish the circle. I'll show you one more time. Two, three, then we'll do a decrease. Repeat this for one round. When we're done, we'll start crocheting the 17th loop. 
The 17th circle is made up of two single crochet and one decrease. Repeat for a total of five sets. Watch out for my demo later. One, two, then crochet a decrease. Repeat this to complete the circle. After we've completed the 17th round, we'll start crocheting the 18th round. The 18th circle is a combination of a single crochet and a decrease. Also, after 5 sets of repetitions, our main body is essentially complete. After crocheting, we need to break the thread. The reserved thread needs to be left a little longer. Let's take a look at my demo. It's a combination. Then repeat the crochet round. After we've completed our 18th turn, we can cut the cotton threads. First, we pull out the cotton thread and then we stuff the cotton in. When stuffing the cotton, be careful to stuff it fuller. It'll give it a nice shape. After we've stuffed ourselves with cotton, the holes are then sewn shut with pre-existing cotton threads. Tighten it up as much as you can. This way you can tell there's a hole here. The last stitch is tightened and you're done. After stitching is complete, if we stuff the cotton tightly, we can see an indented part of it. Next, we'll pass the cotton thread through this area. After wearing it out, we crochet the face part a little more obviously. It's about here. And then we'll pull this cotton thread out from the other side. Tighten it up a little. That completes its face. Then we followed the grain and hid the excess cotton threads inside. Wear it a few more times and this cotton thread hides. Once hidden, we can cut off the excess cotton threads. 